Telling new details tonight about how three gunmen targeted high-profile former attorney Stan Chesley and his wife, federal judge Susan DeLoth. The couple recovering tonight from a violent home invasion. Not on your side anchor, Julie O'Neill first broke the story and has new details tonight. It was late, it was dark, and Indian Hill Rangers tell me the three alleged robbers didn't know who they were targeting inside this $8 million estate behind me. They most assuredly do now. These three guys had decided they were going to go out and do a robbery. Uh, they already had the weapons with them, uh, hadn't decided where they were going to go or who they were going to target. Uh, spotted the vehicle, followed them back to the Chesley residence. Uh, saw where they pulled in. Then Indian Hill Lieutenant Steve Macon says they left. According to uh, one of the suspects, they went downtown, bought some marijuana, drove around for a while and smoked the marijuana. We think they got back here probably about an hour and a half or so after the Chesleys arrived home and kicked in a back door on the back side of the residence. They made two or three trips in and out of the house with property from the residence before they ever went upstairs to confront uh, Mr. Chesley and Judge DeLott. At some point, Macon says DeLott opened a garage door, which set off a beeping sound that gave a quick distraction. They both ran into the woods, and uh, Judge DeLott made it down to a neighbor's residence and alerted them. Apparently, Chesley could not get far. He suffered several broken bones and a concussion after police say one of the suspects threw him down some stairs. Those three suspects being held tonight on very high bonds, over $2 million each. As we get new information about whether federal prosecutors will take over this case, we'll bring it right to you. In Indian Hill, Julie O'Neill, 9 on your side.